Hello everyone, today I'm going to present you a video tutorial about storyboldthat.com which is a website that gives you scenes, characters and objects and lets you create digital stories. To begin with, go to storyboldthat.com and then click on login to your account. It gives you two options. You can use the website by creating a free account or use it at the premium version, which is paid. I'm using the free version, which gives me the chance to create two storyboards per week to share with my students. I'm going to log in with my Google account. And then I'll be ready to start creating my storyboards. You can create a storyboard by clicking on create a storyboard. You need to find a title for your storyboard, which is going to be my first storyboard. then click on continue. This is the place that you are going to create your stories. Let's change the appearance of the cells. In the free version, free account, you have only three cells to create your story. But in the premium version, you'll have as many cells as you want to create your story. To begin with, you can choose a scene for your story. You can choose characters, items, speech bubbles. These are characters. You can choose items to add to your story. You can add speech bubbles. You can make your characters talk. You can add shapes, infographics, or more. So let's start by adding a scene to our story. There are many different kinds of scenes from which that you can choose. There are entertainment scenes, home indoor, home outdoor, school aesthetic, transportation work, classical homes, historical, US history, country rustic, outdoor, and there are more scenes to choose among. Let's choose country and rustic. And let's choose there's a nice scene here let's choose this one and let's also choose this one and that's the final one let's choose this one so we already have three scenes now we are ready to add characters to our scenes but before that let's see what we can do with the scenes when you click on a scene, you can change many things about the scene. You can rotate the scene. You can add layers to your scene. You can edit your scene. You can copy or you can delete the copied ones. You can add cells, which we cannot do now because we need a premium account to add new cells. The free account gives us only three cells to work with. You can move your cells. If you want to move one of the cells, just click on the cell you want to move and add to the target cell. And then you can change. If you click on OK, it's going to save your changes. What I want to do, undo the move because I want to save my first cells. Cancel move. I want to add a new. Whenever you want, you can change the scene by just clicking and dragging a new scene to the cell, to the cell. 
It's that easy. And then you can edit scene, click on the scene, and then click on the edit scene, and then you can customize many things on this pop-up page. You can change time of the day, you can change weather, tents, campfire, you can change many things. Let's change time of the day. You can change it as daytime or night time. You can change rain or snow. You can change the position of the tent, tent closed, tent open, no tents. You can remove the tents if you want. You can change the campfire. If you want the fire to be on, you can click on fire on, fire off, campfire off. You can change the color of the sky here. Or you can change the color of the grass. When you click on update scene, your changes will be updated and saved. You can do the same changes to the other scenes as well. Let's click on characters and add characters. There are many characters that you can choose from, from teens to animals, from stickies to silhouettes, from mythological characters to monsters and myths, from classical era to medieval, that you can find characters from all times and all eras, from myths, from histories. So let's choose monster and myths. I want to add a woman dracula here. The moment you add, you can customize your characters. Facial expressions, arm movements, you can customize everything about your character. You can change the angle of your character. Your character can look front to right to back and left a scene. You can change the facial expressions of your character. You can change arms of your characters. And you can also change the hair color, skin color, makeup color, eye color, dress color, or shoe color of your characters. When you click on update pose, your character will be updated. If you click on your character and want to add the same character to the other scenes, you just need to copy it to, you just need to click on copy your character and add your character to the other scene as well. As you see, the same character exists in three scenes. That's another character, a male vampire. When we double click on the male vampire, or when we edit, click on edit pose, we can make the some adjustments for the male character too. We can change the facial expression, we can change the angle, we can change the position of the arms, or the position of the left arm and right arm, or the position of the legs. And when we click on update pose, the pose is going to be updated. We can add items. Let's add some items. Let's add some apples. Here. or you can add whatever you want. If you can't find something, you can just click on search and you can find and add it. I wanted to add a card here. 
and this one will do. And you can put anything you want inside. And you can add speech bubbles. Let's add some speech bubbles. Garden. And let's add one speech bubble for the female vampire. We can resize the speech bubbles easily. I set the vampire here. And when you are done with your story, you can easily save and exit. Let's save it. Our story is ready. When you click on my storyboards, It will show you the storyboards that you have created. You can edit the storyboard. You can copy it. You can view save history. You can print it. You can download it. You can use it as a slideshow. Or if you don't want to share it with anyone, you can keep it as privacy. Thanks for watching.